Originality has been the foundation that has propelled my next guest to another level in artwork and critical writing. Joining us is Professor Buzz Spector. Hi, Raina. Hi, Professor. So you do a specific type of art. Yes, I do. Uh, I'm probably best known in the art world for tearing pages out of books and calling what's left sculpture. <laughs> Why books? How did you arrive at books as a medium? Uh, I grew up in a reading family, and, and uh, uh, as a boy, I, I learned all the proper ways of, of treating a book. No chewing on the pages, no tearing, no coloring. Uh, so actually, it was somewhat a disappointment to my mother that uh, uh, her grown son uh, began to work in this endeavor. And you've done some pretty amazing things with books. How would you describe your artwork? So my work, uh, uh, and I brought an example of it, uh, takes a, a standard printed book, and as, as you notice, uh, it, it's now triangular shaped. Right, and I was going to point something out. Really, it should be here, because according yes. to the pages in the book, it should be like that. That's right. So something's missing right here. And what's missing is half of the book. But uh, I, I, I tear my pages in sequence from beginning to end, so half the book is still present. And as you can see, the, the field of torn pages is uh, a sort of mysterious entity all its own. Sure. When you, when you hold it up like that, it, it's artwork. I mean, yes. it's incredible. So what, how, how were you, what inspired you to do this piece of art? You know, uh, for many artists, the, the inspiration comes by accident. I had something else in mind entirely. I was working on a, a book of drawings, and I, I wanted the book to be bound so that each page would be a little longer than the one before. And it was going to make reference to a famous poem by John Keats about the, the mind-expanding properties of reading. So I didn't know how to bind a book like that so it would behave itself. And I decided to tear pages out of an old book I owned to make a model for my book binder. Oh. And by the time I got halfway through the, the page tearing, I realized, oh, <laughs> this is the art. <laughs> I like this. Well, you've got an exhibition coming up. That's right. Uh, th there's several on the way. Uh, uh, the biggest project, of course, is uh, the film about my life and work that uh, uh, will be screening in St. Louis on Saturday as part of the St. Louis International Film Festival. Well, let's talk a little bit about that. Absolutely. What will we see in the film? What does the film highlight? So it, it highlights a project I, I worked on 10 years ago uh, when I was still teaching at Cornell University, and I built a structure out of books, a kind of a, uh, a circular uh, ziggurat-type form all uh, composed of books written by Cornell faculty, students, and staff. Uh, the university originally asked if I would like to make a sculpture out of every book ever written by Cornellians, and I explained that that might be too big a structure for the load-bearing qualities of the floor. <laughs> well, that's really interesting. So where do you get inspiration. How do you know this is what I'm supposed to do with these books and how do you tie the books into the sculpture and make it all work? Uh, every time I, I uh, uh, select a book to work with, uh, uh, one of two things must have happened. I have to have read it and it has to have the right uh, construction for what I do. Now when I'm looking for books, I look almost exactly like other browsers and bookstores, but because I'm checking them for slightly different properties than what they say, uh, I have on occasion uh, been addressed by other browsers. I remember uh, an elderly lady who said, young man, what are you doing? And I, I said, well, I'm just trying to see if it's, <laughs> it's all in one piece. <laughs> was it? It was at the time. <laughs> and you ended up using it in one of That's your right, sculptures. That's right, I did. Well, where can we find this film this weekend? Uh, it'll be uh, screening at Brown Auditorium on the Washington University campus as part of a, a bill of, of several short documentary films. Uh, the uh, ticket is free. Wow. Well, it's exciting to have a real-life artist here in the studio and know that we can go and see the artist's work for free and see the film for free. So I certainly hope people go and check it out because it's amazing even in your lifetime when you can see an artist and their work at the same time. So, thank you so much. Thank you. I hope the film does very well. The Rise and Fall of Books.
screening will be shown November 10th at 7.30 p.m. at Washington University in Brown Hall. For more information, visit cinemastlewis.org. Stay with us at STL Live. There's more right after this.